This is Darren, and I'm Brandy. We are not murderers. We didn't bring any candy or anything, but we figured that's what got you into this mess in the first place. The St. George Bridge was built in 1908 to connect the neighborhood of Inglewood, Calgary's oldest neighborhood, to St. George Island. The bridge is nicknamed the Zoo Bridge, as St. George Island is now best known for being the location of the Calgary Zoo. Today, there are many reports of hearing cries for help coming from under the bridge, for reasons I'll get into later. Darren and I started our evening with one of the best burgers I've had in Calgary at the Inglewood Drive-In. Hi, I'm going to get the spicy mango milkshake. I'll do a small, please. And I'll do 100 million angels singing, a single. Split a large fry. Sure. Can that do us? Yeah, and then we'll do a large fry. And then whatever you're having there. And I'll get a single bonfire burger. We each had a milkshake. Darren's was licorice, which I know sounds nasty, but he swears it was delicious, and I believe him. And I had the spicy mango, which was more mango than spicy. I would absolutely order this burger again. Mine had ketchup, mayo, lettuce, tomato, bacon, bacon bits, and cheese. It sounds simple, but it was really delicious. Darren had the bonfire burger, which had jalapenos, Monterey Jack cheese, pickles, onions, bacon, banana peppers, and barbecue sauce. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, let me look up the history of St. George Bridge here. I brought these gloves specifically so I would be able to, um... Here we go. Haunted Zoo Bridge. So in 1946, six-year-old Donnie Goss was playing at the playground on the southeast corner of St. George's Island, where the zoo security building now stands. While okay. playing, Donnie was approached by an older man who offered the boy candy and toys <laughs> before leading him under the zoo bridge, where he brutally myrtled... Myrtled? Myrtled he myrtled him. him. No! <laughs> Just like you myrtled that word. <laughs> you myrtler. <laughs> so ever since that murder, people have heard uh, the boy cr uh, calling for help beneath the bridge. To this day, emergency services receive several calls to the bridge each year, despite never having found the boy in question. So when, uh, one story says of a young boy visiting the Calgary Zoo telling his mother about a boy named Donnie who asked him to come and play. So kids, oh, have, wow. so kids have seen him, which I find interesting is like most... Somebody won a game tonight? So yeah, people don't often report seeing him, but I guess kids do. Kids see him. And there's not much chance the kids would have heard the story before. I mean, no, because it's kind of rough. It's kind of a rough story. Well, that would make me think that if you were to hear or encounter him, you'd have to be on the zoo side of the bridge. I mean, that's what I'm thinking, just by the sounds of it. <gasps> oh. That was Johnny <laughs> throwing over my milkshake. <laughs> Donnie's here with us. He wants our sweet treats. Anyway, okay, I'm not sure where I found it, but yeah, he was stabbed something like 40 times. It was a lot. And uh, they did find the guy. They did find the murderer. Oh, really? There's a picture of him online somewhere. But um, anyway, I can't find what it now. To him? Jail, I guess. Actually, Brandy, I wish you had done more research before filming this, because according to Murderpedia.com, which I know, Murderpedia exists, who knew? Anyway, according to Murderpedia.com, in the year 1946, a murderer struck in Vancouver in Calgary. 
29-year-old Donald Staley started his killings by stabbing a boy to death in Vancouver after making friends with him on the beach the day before. Donald Staley was caught for theft of all things and wound up confessing to the murders. He was executed by hanging in Lethbridge, Alberta on December 18th, 1946. Yeah, no, I actually like doing hauntings where someone has like brutally been murdered always feels like a little bit... I don't know. Exploitative? Ex- exploitive, kind of, yeah. I don't know why I'm excusing this one. I guess just because there's so many reports of the crying. I also think it's really hard to pin down a haunting on one person. Like, like it, you know, like, oh, it's likely that it's Donnie, but what if it wasn't? Mm. What if the ghost is somebody else? Um, so, yeah, so we'll see. We'll mm. see if Donnie's here. I also think it's hard to get evidence outside. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, people are like, oh, I hear crying. What if you legit hear some? Like, what if someone's crying and your ignorant ass thinks it's a ghost? Yeah. But someone's in distress. Like, yeah. that's what I think. Like, what if that's somebody real? Well, also, we saw those ducks down there. I mean, animals sometimes make sounds that people don't no, associate yeah. with them. Totally. And go, oh, that must be someone crying or whatever. Yeah, like how goats yeah. scream like men. Yes. Yeah. That, I have yeah. thought of that. But that's where I think if we hear something, then we can kind of make that call. <laughs> I mean, that's the other thing. Yeah, like, what if an animal from the zoo is making all these noises? Exactly. There's that's a lot point. of weird sounds from there. Yeah. That's probably the most likely explanation. Yeah, it could be. I think it's kind of a shot in the dark. But, it, I mean, the thing that's promising to me is that EMS has been called and is called yeah. on a regular basis out. So that means that, like, the activity is somewhat frequent. Well, and if kids are usually the people who see the, the ghost or interact with them... I've been known to be childlike. <laughs> I've been described that way. I think we'll just go... I guess maybe we'll walk over to Zooside then. Yeah, let's Maybe do that. start it's there. It's your best chance, I think. Yeah. It's not very late, so I guess we'll still have some traffic noise. But, um, I mean... It seems to be a bit quieter. Yeah. Once we get away from that main road. Yeah. Yeah, the screaming men and the sirens. <laughs> but anyway, it's dark now, so I feel like it's... We can walk over and see if anything happens. Check it out. Great. get a little shot of my broken screen here with the other <laughs> camera. Damn. I dropped it. I dropped it and I broke it. <laughs> I was just telling Darren that oh, I don't mind a cracked screen. I cracked it. Hello. <laughs> Hopefully it's not an omen for the our interaction with Donnie. Okay, Darren and I are walking down to under the bridge. The bridge is actually quite well lit. And there's a little pathway underneath, which I didn't realize. Uh, so this is actually very easy for us to get down here, but it's apparently this side of the bridge, so we're on the zoo side, uh, St. George Island side, I guess. I was worried about the traffic earlier, but it's not actually bad. not bad, yeah. And there's no more people out, really. Nice little view of downtown in the back. Even though you see a fancy audio recorder in my hand, I wasn't able to use any of it because of wind noise. Next time I won't be such a dummy and I'll actually put the little wind protector thing on it. So for the rest of the video, you're going to hear sound from my camera. I mean, my first impression of being under here is like, it's not scary at all. It's not even scary in the sense that I would be afraid of getting mugged here. No, you know it's what well I mean? lit. It's lit. It's peaceful. We've got the river running past. The graffiti is tasteful. The graffiti is tasteful. Now, is, is it crying or is it any other sounds? Like I think it's like crying. Mean or talking. I think it's like screaming, crying for help. Okay. Like that sort of thing is what we're listening for. Um, yeah. I don't know if we can sneak through. I don't look. I don't know if we can get down to the. Bush. Through the 
fence here. So it like I mean I get why if you hear a scream it would be disconcerting. I was expecting there to be more noise pollution. But there's not really. There's just cars. But I mean if you're under a bridge, you got cars going by like yeah. squeaky brakes, things like that. Yeah. That can sound like screaming, maybe. Yeah, that, I mean that's true. Brakes can sound like screaming. You know, one thing that I always confuse at home is the sound of cats and kit. Did you hear that? Yes. The sound of cats and kit. The sound of cats and kit. The sound of cats and kit. A cat, that I heard that sound a little bit. No, cat? I don't. But birds more likely. Anyway, <laughs> when I hear. <laughs> Who knows? What, I hope this picked it up. I hope I can listen to that. No. Um, I'll be like, those goal centers are like, play it back. And then I'm like, child screaming at the bottom. <laughs> like, really play it up. Which, I mean, we saw ducks. Ducks. I don't think it sounded like a duck. I thought I heard it again. Right, it sounds like it's coming from this way, like towards downtown. Totally. There's someone saying, hey. <laughs> if you don't, if you can't, you can say no. I will say no. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful night. Hi. It's yeah, wonderful it out. Good night for ghost sewing. <laughs> well, that's just hollering. Yeah. Well, that's like cheering. You can hear that. Yeah, I mean, those yelps that we heard they sounded like they were on this side but I mean that could just be the echo and probably a bird hmm. but we'll see uh, can we get down there do you think is there a safe way to Jesus Christ. Okay. Yep. Oh, someone walking. <laughs> it's like, oh no. Or oh yes. Or, or, yeah, or oh yes. like the most believable, I guess. Do you have anything that you could use for that? This? This is it? I don't like, I don't really use like, um... It's... It comes through on another signal, like the static oh, or... <laughs> yeah, I don't really know if that really counts as EVPs though, like... I guess the reason I don't really like those is because... Like there's like spirit boxes which scan radio stations. 
and the thought is like that a ghost could pick up on the signals and like come through the signals or I'm not actually really sure like the theory behind it I just know that like there's something about the scanning of the stations that like a, if a voice comes through it's because the ghost did it but I'm like obviously it's because it slowed down enough for something to come through from a radio station mm. so I don't really love that tool I don't okay because then people are like you know they ask questions and they get some kind of answer back and it sometimes it makes sense but sometimes it just really doesn't so i'm not a big fan of spirit boxes yeah i could see how that could be a little bit rigged yeah do you still love me top 40. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, i know oh only made the top 40. yeah so i just like i have a hard time buying into that 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 tool specifically i like the evps where it's just like on a recorder so there's silence and then something comes through. Silence and something comes through, or like sometimes like if you and I are talking now and I listen back to it, maybe I'll hear a voice when I listen back to it. Oh, okay. Like that kind of that kind of thing I like. Obviously there's room for like misinterpretation or like you're hearing something that's like not like not really there. Yeah. <laughs> but um or like you're matrixing it, like not that it's not really there, but that you think it's a human voice when it's like maybe somebody outside or maybe it's I don't know not human like not a ghost not human okay anyway but there are some that i really like that i'm like for someone to fake this would be neat <laughs> <laughs> okay all right donnie sorry about what happened to you When I play this sound back, it just sounds like some kind of bird or maybe a squeak from a car. The only thing I find odd is that the noise didn't repeat itself the rest of the time we were down there. That was like a squeak, right? Like a... Uh, maybe we're hearing you, but if so, then you sound far away. Can you come closer? Yeah, whether it's a bird or even just foot traffic off the bridge. Well, when you have a concrete bridge, there's a lot of refraction. Yeah. So sounds can come from anywhere. Yeah. The bridge, though, just looks really pretty. Yeah, it's yeah. actually, like, really nice and peaceful. Like, I feel like I could come down here, you know. Like, if I was a teenager, this would be a great place to come. I would say smoke I didn't do that as a kid. Smoke pot, drink, I don't know. What do teenagers do? Hang out, do nice things. Yeah, that's the Mormon teenager. <laughs> we left town, that's what we did. <laughs> yeah. Okay. My other camera died, so I had to switch over to my little one for the rest of the time that we were under the bridge. 
it's not a paranormal thing. It's just a battery thing. Darren was just saying that he wonders if the sightings happened with the old bridge. Because this is a new bridge that was installed in 2017. Um, so, yeah. I mean, the article that I that I read to you was written in 2017. Oh, okay. So it would have been with the old bridge. Yeah. But I wonder how many have happened since then. That TikTok one was recent. Okay. So that, I mean, that was at least one recent incident. But I don't know how common they are otherwise. Well, and also, TikTok comes with a certain amount of lack of credibility. <laughs> I mean, I think most people who do ghost stuff fake stuff. Okay. Or exaggerate things. Yeah. You know, so like, for instance, maybe that same person would have heard that little squeak that we heard when we first came down here and would have been like, oh, for sure that's Donnie. But you and I were like, but is it? Yeah. You know, like, we're going to take the time to to really wonder what it is. Well, we're also going to take it back, put a little bit of reverb on it, <laughs> and, you know, it's filtered a bit, and it'll definitely be Donnie. <laughs> I guess it's pretty naive of me. I think, you know, with EVPs, I'm like, oh, that's like the most genuine evidence you can get. But how easy would it be to fake that in post? Just even in post. Oh. You're an audio guy. You rep- you're a so music guy. Yeah. yeah. Um, I kind of forget those things sometimes. Photoshop, I'm like, oh, yeah, of course, people are Photoshopping ghosts into things. Or Well, people have been faking sounds a lot longer than faking pictures. Explain. Well, uh, Photoshop I mean, is the best way to do it now, but Photoshop has only been around for about 20 years. I mean, yeah. And uh, But people have been recording things on wax since like 150 years ago. And they've been finding ways to create sounds. I mean, seances, the big, one of the biggest things they use are sounds rather than visuals. Right. And uh, so they've been faking all kinds of stuff using musical instruments or just found objects or people who can make strange voices right to fake all kinds of things with sound yeah makes sense that's just people and it's the whole industry of in film fully right yeah 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 so yeah 100 percent. yeah it's kind of the, the thing that i always go back to is for all of the hundreds of years that we've been having reports of this to still have nothing that's definitive yeah <laughs> no, I know. And it's like, what would it take to be definitive? Like, that's kind of my question is like, I know that for me, the only thing that's going to be different, definitive for me is going to be um, if I see it myself. But even then, I, I might question myself. Yeah, I'd have to see it with a witness, somebody else with me. So yeah. So we'll both see the same thing and go, oh, wow. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I do think it would kind of have to be something like that. Or else I'm just going to think it's like my mind or I'm yeah. misinterpreting what I hear or what I see something but... by the way Donnie I hope we're not making too light of your situation obviously we're very sad for you it's terrible we don't mean to exploit your murder we're not being insensitive okay we're trying not to anyway sidekick <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Donnie. Well, you have a beautiful view out here, if you are here. Yeah, I'm kidding. Um, it's really nice. You got some ducks to look at. I can see there's one that's... You can probably can't see one. He's hanging out. He's right over there. Um, yeah. Come back here and take some photos. That's a great skyline. Right? Yeah. Isn't it nice? It'd be nice to do some night photography down here, for sure. Okay, well, Donnie, we're going to wrap it up. Any last words? I'm not sure what Darren and I heard under the bridge, but my best guess is a bird. We only heard a weird cry three times overall, but having listened to them over and over again in editing, I'm not convinced it's paranormal. That's not to say that the spirit of Donnie, or some other spirit, isn't still lurking around the bridge. But wherever Donnie is now, I hope he's at peace. Peace.